Want a wrinkle-free, younger look? From Botox to fillers. You never had lips this side. You ain't gonna know what to do. Viewers brave the needle on the spot. The results you cannot miss. You are not going to believe what we've got in store for you this hour right here. Check this out. I've heard so many women talk about Botox. I mean, fillers and all the injectables that people use to erase wrinkles, add a lift here or there, plump a little bit here and there. And honestly, I just, got, I just don't, I don't get it. So I'm going to be learning for myself what all this fuss is about because today, you see this right here? Look at this right here. Yeah. We got three women who are going to be going under the needle just like that right here on my stage. You can't miss this. I'm going to be right here watching. We can do it together. You know, uh, millions of people use injectables and fillers to enhance their lips, cheeks, frown lines, and wrinkles. But what exactly are these treatments and which may be right for you? Here with the answers is Beverly Hills dermatologist and author of Heal Your Skin, Dr. Ava Shamban. Yeah. Hi, right, Dr. Shamban. Why have these procedures become so popular? They're all about looking your very best for every point in your life. Not like, look, not like a different person, but just your most beautiful self. And the reason that people are using injectables is because they're safe, there's very little downtime, and they give the most natural results. We understand now that the face ages at different levels. We have shrinkage in the bones, we have fat pads that get thinner and descend, and so we want to always present a refreshed look so that people respond to us in the way that we want them to, which is happiness. Okay, so what about precautions? Is, uh, are there any precautions that people should take before going in or using an injectable? Of course. You want to make sure that the, that the health care provider, that the physician or the nurse is very well trained, has a good aesthetic eye, so that the kind of work that they're doing is... Do most of uh, people in this business, do they have like a, maybe like a catalog where you can see like before and after photos? Yes, of course. Yeah, before <laughs> and afters. And I think, I think I brought some with me. Oh, okay, I think good. I got a few for... Okay, well, we're, we're going to get to that. We have... Uh, some women here who want to enhance their looks. And we're going to start with Tyler. Where's Tyler? Tyler, come on over. Hi. Hello. Hey, Tyler, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Hi, so, Tyler. Hi, Hi, sweetheart. So, so, Tyler, so what's concerning you? What? I'm in my 30s now, and I get a little insecure about the way I look. I think as I get a little older, I start to notice thing, things. And one thing is... My lips. I've always had very small lips, and I have big teeth and, you know, a huge smile, so I feel like they... Just my care. teeth overpowers my face, and I just like a little bit... Well, this will definitely little... cure that problem, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> it sure a will. damn thing overpowered. These lips... <laughs> these is in control of all this. <laughs> So, go ahead, take a seat, like you already did. I know. Sorry. Make myself comfortable. Now, okay, okay, doctor, what do you recommend for her, though? Just... Okay, so the, so the first thing is to assess the beautiful Tyler's face. And so I always like to start out with what's the most beautiful part of the face. I call it signature feature. So Tyler has gorgeous, huge eyes. But what's lacking is the size of her lips do not match the width of her face or the size of her eyes. And so what I want to do is bring her face more into balance. Okay, Plus let me tell her... you something now. You want to... Let's talk to somebody that, you know, that I'm obviously where you're trying to get to. Yeah, I, I want those. You want these right here? Each one of these is about eight pounds. <laughs> Do not hang your head out the window when you're in a car at high speed. Okay, I hope you're listening to all this. I'm going to tell you something. Now, I didn't learn that till I was about nine years old. I hung my head out on the freeway. My daddy was doing seven, I damn near smothered myself. <laughs> they blew back, and I couldn't stop them. And I ain't know what the hell. I was eight, so I was just, just choking. I ain't know what was going on. Well, Somebody just beware of that. Thing. All right, well, all we're right. going we're, we're to send you home with instructions. All right, let's get started. Put your head back. <laughs> Scoot down just a little bit for me. 
Okay. No, no, no. So it's very important with the lip that, oh, you guys. It's very important with the lip that we don't make them too big and they get a little swollen right away. So I'm gonna come in and do the lower lip too because the lip has different parts to it. There's the cupid's bow and then there are these little kind of pillows that we like to have on the bottom of the lip to give sort of a real sexy mouth. She doing good. The, the, the needle is not that painful. You just think it is. It's no, really she has numb. a block. She's totally numb. And there's, and there's anesthetic oh, okay. in the product. Be numb as hell. Be walking around slobbling on yourself. Don't even know it. Totally good. I mean, but you can see, look at her side over there. Her lips are already changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that matches her big, beautiful green eyes. Yeah, you can get this today. So this is a procedure that you can have in the middle of the day and you can go on a date at night. Now lips, of course, are the first thing often that are noticed. So I like like a little cute little Cupid's bow here. So we're gonna just put one little drop here and one little drop here. And then we're just gonna put, she, look, she looks a little sad, so we're just gonna drop just a little product down here. Go ahead, you can just wipe that little bit of heme off. And to get so, rid of that sad, because people oftentimes, if you have thin lips, you can look kind of mean. And so we don't want her to look mean. Look how beautiful she is. That's why I look happy all the time. That's, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> beautiful. You can cool a bowl of soup quicker. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if that was the goal here. All right, they're a little swollen. Hey, so we're going to check in with Tyler to see her results when we come back. So stay with us.